In the warming days of early spring, a strange sight appears in the crooks of trees. Silken tents, stretched between branches like ghostly hammocks, swayed gently in the breeze. These are not abandoned webs, they're homes of eastern tent caterpillars. It all begins before the snow even falls. In late summer, a female moth lays a neat cluster of eggs around a twig, shiny, dark, and varnished to survive the winter. Hidden within these tiny capsules, next year's caterpillars wait for the return of warmth. As spring arrives, the eggs synchronize their hatching with the budding of trees. Timing is everything. These young caterpillars need tender foliage to grow, and they waste no time getting to work. Eastern tent caterpillars are communal creatures. They build their tents to catch the morning sun, warming chambers where they raise their body temperature before foraging. They follow invisible highways of silk to venture out and feed, then return to rest, digest, and warm up once again. At first, their damage is barely noticeable, but soon, hundreds of hungry mouths strip branches bare. They feed mostly on cherry, apple, and crabapple trees, though they'll settle for others in a pinch. Despite the dramatic leaf loss, most trees survive. Eastern tent caterpillars are native, and local ecosystems have adapted to their boom and bust cycles. Healthy trees often regrow their leaves by midsummer. Inside the tent, caterpillars grow fast. The structure expands as they do, reinforced and enlarged daily. It serves as both shelter and solar heater, carefully placed in the tree's east-facing side to catch the first light of day. They're striking creatures up close. Bold stripes, long hairs, and vibrant blue spots. The markings help warn predators, and the hairs may deter some from taking a bite. Eventually, their time in the tent comes to an end. Once fully grown, they leave the nest to search for a safe place to pupate. Although you may not see it, each caterpillar spins a cocoon of its own, somewhere in the underbrush or tucked along bark. The tents, once bustling, fall silent. Empty shells of silk flutter in the breeze, a reminder of the life that once pulsed within. In a few weeks, these caterpillars will emerge as moths, reddish-brown, short-lived, and driven to repeat the cycle. By summer's end, the next generation is already in place, waiting for another spring. Eastern tent caterpillars may be fleeting, but their presence marks a season, a moment when the forest briefly swells with movement, appetite, and transformation. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. But either way, get out there and see what you can see.